I have created an AI-generated animation series, even though I have no prior experience in animation. In this video, I will demonstrate four simple steps that you can follow to create your own AI-generated animation series using free tools only. Because all of my followers want free tools for creating videos, and that is difficult. However, after a long effort, I managed to find a set of free tools for creating cartoon animations. Before we begin, I would like to share with you how this idea came to me. One time I saw my brother watching cartoons on his phone, and when I called him, he refused to come and ignored me several times. When I went to see what he was doing, I found him engrossed in watching cartoons. When I checked the channel he was watching, I discovered that it had millions of subscribers and views. I also found many similar channels that targeted both children and adults. There are numerous channels that operate in this manner. When I examined the content of these channels, I noticed that they utilized artificial intelligence. So, I wondered to myself, why not create similar channels? I began investigating these channels and found a specific channel with 8 million subscribers and millions of views. For example, this particular video has garnered 62 million views, and another one has 59 million views, among many others. When I checked the channel on Social Blade, I discovered that it earns $83,000 per month and reaches up to $1 million annually. Yes, it's amazing. We also have another channel with a similar concept and millions of subscribers and views. These are just a few of the channels I found after a quick search, and they utilize artificial intelligence to create cartoons, including voices, characters, and storylines. In this video, we will explore how to create such content using artificial intelligence in a short period of time. So, let's get started. First, you need to write the video script. To do this professionally, we have two websites that we can utilize, ChatGPT and Google Bard. Based on my experience in the field of artificial intelligence, ChatGPT provides excellent texts, but they require some expertise in animation and character movement. On the other hand, Google Bard offers simple and user-friendly texts. Therefore, I recommend using Google Bard for this purpose. To observe the differences between the texts generated by Google Bard and ChatGPT, we will visit Google Bard and request a text for a video where a father gives advice to his son. I will click Submit, and then I will proceed with the same process using ChatGPT, and we will notice the differences in the texts. You can note that the Google Bard text is simple and easy, for example. Scene. The father and son are sitting on the couch. The son is about to start college. Father. Son. I am very proud of everything you have achieved. You will do great things in college. Son. Thank you, Dad. I'm excited, but I also feel some fear. The texts are simple and understandable. On the other hand, ChatGPT can generate more complex and detailed texts, which are more suitable for professionals in the field of animation and motion. Based on that, I recommend using Google Bard to benefit from artificial intelligence. The final decision regarding the preferred tool is up to you. Personally, I will rally on Google Bard. Now we will need to convert the text into speech, and we will do that using the Eleven Labs website. I explained how to use the website in the previous video, so if you want to watch the video, you can find it in the description or at the top. The website offers many free voices. I will log in for those who are not registered by registering with just an email. This is the website interface. There is a free version that allows you to use 10,000 words, and there are millions of voices that can be used. There are pre-existing voices available, but I want a more professional voice. Click on Add Voice. Then add generative or cloned voice if you want to use your own voice. The paid version is required for instant voice cloning. But as mentioned before, we are using the free version. Click on Voice Library. The great thing about this website is that it offers a wide variety of voices and options to describe the desired voice. We will select Characters and Animation, choose the American accent. For example, select Old for Age, choose Male for Gender, and now we will choose the voice that I like, such as Tom. Click on Add to Voice Lab, and then Add Voice. This will add the voice. Now we need to select the voice of the son by altering the voice characteristics. We will leave the accent as it is. Select Young for Age, choose Male for Gender, and now we will choose the voice that we like. For example, 
I will I choose my Max to lead using my the path. same method. This way, we have selected the voices we want. Now we need to input the text that we want to convert into speech. Copy the text, delete the script for the son and the word father. Then click on the Tom voice and press Generate. Click on Download. Son, I'm so proud of you for everything you've accomplished. You're going to do great things in college. Similarly, we will do the same for the son. Input the script, delete the father's script and the word son, select the young voice, click on generate, and click on download. I will add a third voice for the narrator, and you will see what he said at the end of the episode. Now, after creating the script and audio, it's time to work on the content production. This involves selecting characters and the surrounding environment, such as a school, a house, or other locations, and animating the characters to speak and express the script. To accomplish this, we will need to use the free website Express Adobe, which provides a tool called Animate from Audio. Firstly, we have the Character option, where we can choose from a variety of characters. We also have the background option, which allows us to select the desired setting and environment. Additionally, we have the size option, which allows us to choose the format, whether it's for short videos or for YouTube. As for the character's speech, you can either click on the record button to record your voice or upload a pre-recorded audio file. The character will then speak and move according to the audio, and all of this is available for free, without a doubt. First, we need to select the screen size. Is it for short videos like Instagram or do you want it for YouTube? You can even choose a custom size by clicking on Custom. Personally, I will select the YouTube dimensions. Next, we will choose the characters by clicking on Character. One drawback of the website is that you cannot upload your own character. You have to choose from the available ones on the site. However, there are plenty of characters to choose from, and they should be sufficient. We will select the character of the father and choose an old or elderly character. Excellent. This is suitable. Now, we will choose a green background. I will show you why in the rest of the video. And now, we will upload the audio for the father that was downloaded from the 11 Lab website by clicking on Browse. The audio file will be processed. The first segment is now complete. Son, I'm so proud of you for everything you've accomplished. You're going to do great things in college. That's normal. Everyone feels that way when they're about to start something new. But I know you can handle it. Now I will download it. Next, I will select the second character a young man in his 20s. I will follow the same steps with him. Thanks, Dad. I'm excited, but I'm also a little scared. I'm still not sure what I want to do with my life. What advice do you have for me? Thanks, Dad. And now, we need to create the background. We'll need to use Canva. If you need Canva Pro, I provided instructions on how to get Canva Pro for free in the previous video. You can find the video in the description or you can look above, so make sure to watch it and subscribe to the channel. Now let's create the background. We'll need three or four backgrounds. One for the beginning of the video, one for the son's dialogue, 
one for the father's dialogue, and one for the end of the video. First, we'll search for a house to showcase the location. I liked this house. We'll add a road in front of the house like this, and we'll also add a nature background behind the house. Then we'll add some trees as well. After that, we'll add some movement to the birds. We'll go to the filter and choose the animated motion to get the animated birds. I chose these birds. Then, I'll also add a rabbit. Great. That's enough. Now let's create the second scene where the father talks to his son. We'll place them in a room with a sofa, where the father gives advice to his son. I'll type room and choose one of these rooms. I'll choose this room. And to make it look like they are sitting, we'll need to place a table in front of them. I'll upload a suitable table to be placed later. And now, let's download these backgrounds. After that, we will move on to the CapCut application, an amazing free editing tool. First, we will download all the clips we have created. Then we will add the exterior footage of the house at the beginning and end of the video. As for the beginning of the video, I want to add a position and size effect to the house. We can do this by transitioning to the top right corner and selecting Basic, then specifying the main frame in the area we want to position and size. After that, we select the entire clip and adjust the image size according to our needs. Then we reselect the position and size effect, and we continue this process to make the clip appear as if we are entering the house. And now, the most important part, adding characters and removing the green background. We can do this by going to the top right corner and clicking on Cutout, then selecting Chrome key and clicking on the color picker to choose the green background color. Then we increase the strength until the green color disappears completely. And now, I will show you the last feature which is that CapCut has a library of various sounds and effects, such as bird sounds. Now I will work quickly to finish the video promptly. And here is the expected result after this long journey. Enjoy watching. Welcome to Tom's house. What's wrong with this bird? It seems sick. Anyway, let's get back to our topic where the father will give advice to his son. Let's hear the advice. Son. I'm so proud of you for everything you've accomplished. You're going to do great things in college. Thanks, Dad. I'm excited, but I'm also a little scared. That's normal. Everyone feels that way when they're about to start something new. But I know you can handle it. You're a smart, capable young man. I'm still not sure what I want to do with my life. That's okay. You don't have to have everything figured out right now. Just take things one step at a time and explore your options. What advice do you have for me? Here are a few things I've learned along the way. Be yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. Be confident. Believe in yourself and your abilities. 
work hard. Don't be afraid to put in the effort to achieve your goals. Be kind. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have fun. Enjoy your college experience. Thanks, Dad. I'll remember that. I love you, son. I love you too, Dad. The father's advice can be something powerful. It can help the child overcome life's challenges and stay true to themselves. If you are a parent, take some time to give your child some advice. It may be the best gift you ever give them.